Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 and today I will show you how you can hard reset the device through recovery mode. Now this process will also remove a screen lock if you have one that you just don't know. And as you will be able to see I do have a pattern set and I'll progress from the lock screen as though I don't know it. Now additionally I will mention one last thing. Uh, this removes a uh, pin pattern password. It does not remove Google account or Samsung account. So if you go with this process, the device will become locked throughout the setup process uh, with this, uh, with one of those accounts or both of them. So throughout the setup process, you will need to verify uh, the all the user. Now, when it comes down to Google account, it can be bypassed. When it comes down to Samsung account, it cannot. So there we go. At least I don't have any way of doing it. And I will make a video on bypassing the Google account if you're interested in that. So anyway, um, for the hard reset through recovery mode and well, removal of the actual screen lock, you do need a cable that is plugged into your computer. So I'm gonna quickly connect that right here. You gonna charge or not? Interesting, it's not charging. It should connect, but it doesn't, so that's great. Hmm. Oh, technical problems. You know what, I'm gonna see if I can still do this with just a cable plugged in, even though it's not actually seeing anything. Uh, this might not work, so we'll see. Actually, before I actually do this, I'm gonna try one more thing. Nope. Okay. So I'm just going to progress. Hopefully it works, um, even though it's not really showing anything. So let's see. Uh, to get started, I'm going to actually lock the device just so, well, obviously it's in this state like I mentioned. So there we go. Uh, to get started, we need to forcibly restart the device, which we can do by holding power key and volume down at the same time. So both of those keys right over here. Just kind of like flip it over, volume down and power. And once the device turns off, or specifically the screen goes uh, black when you can actually see it, you'll switch from volume down to volume up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Now you do want to see the screen. Additionally, as you can see, there is no fingerprint, so I'm not gonna actually accidentally unlock it, as you can see. So there we go. Just quickly make sure I'm pressing the right place. There we go. So lit up the screen, keep it on things that you can see. Uh, you can interact with the screen so it stays lit up for longer. There we go, turned off, so switch to volume up instead. No, it's not turning on, so I'm gonna let go of those keys and hold them again. Okay, and as you can see, it actually booted into recovery mode. Now, I did let go of the keys a little bit um, earlier. So once I saw the Samsung Galaxy, specifically with the Galaxy underneath, you can let go of the keys. The reason for that is if you hold it for too long and you, you see this menu right over here, and you let go of the power specifically, it will accept reboot system now as a command when you're letting go of it instead of pressing it down. So obviously it, you will boot into it and then automatically leave it. If that happens to you, uh, what you need to do is simply once you see the screen go black instantly after you let go of the keys, uh, start holding uh, volume up and power key once more again and hold them, uh, hold them again till you see the Samsung Galaxy logo at which point you can immediately let go and simply wait for this specific screen to show up. So anyway, once you're in recovery mode, you want to use volume keys to navigate as you can see screen doesn't actually work in here as you can see so that's why we're using volume keys and power key will be used to confirm whatever is selected with this well, blue line so with that in mind you want to select wipe data factory reset confirm it with power key then factory data reset and at the bottom you can see uh, last thing we can see is data wipe complete and the reboot system now is selected by default once that has appeared. So all we need to do now is press power key once again to initiate that reboot. 
and the device will now continue the process in the background. Now this will take about a minute to finish up, at which point we will be greeted with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once it's been completed. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your device however you like. And like I mentioned, this did remove our pattern, so we can now go about the setup, set it up however we want, though it won't remove things like Google account and Samsung accounts, so you'll need to verify those uh, throughout the setup process if they were logged in to the device. Anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.